everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got another edition of Survival Saturday. Today we're going to be checking out a little bit of a gear review. Today we got a Gerber GDC money clip, which uh, we're going to unbox here and check it out firsthand here. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's check this out. The reason why I ended up grabbing this was because it wasn't mainly a card slash money clip. It was more so a money clip slash knife. Um, it's around the same size as most money clips would be that you'd want to at least protect the bills so the bills aren't just getting destroyed in your pocket. Um, but it also has a nice knife that slides in the top and locks. Mostly it's a uh, metal and plastic it looks like, but the points that matter are metal. Uh, it looks like the flashy parts are aluminum, anodized aluminum, but, um, yeah. So it looks like it actually will hold four cards or, uh, four folded bills, but I guess you could, uh, I guess you will see. Uh, we'll see how many we can fit in there. Uh, I do like the fact this is a non-serrated blade. There's a little locking mechanism, which does hold that in, so it does not prematurely come out in your pocket and stab you in the leg or something, which does suck, or perhaps even cut a hole in your pocket and all your money falls out. <laughs> That's a possibility as well if you're wearing shorts. But uh, here we go. Let's check out what we got here in the box. Let's see. Cut it right along the, the edge down here. See if we can slide this thing out without cutting the money clip. There's the clip. Very cool. Let's slide out the knife. Give it a little push with the thumb to get it under there. Awesome. Let's see if we can at least lift it up. Sometimes it's like getting these things out of the package is almost half the battle. So there it is. All right, let's get this blade put away. We're done with that one, because now we have this one. I'll actually just leave that in there, because I don't need that anymore. That is a little cover for the tip of the blade, so I don't cut myself taking it out. I guess Gerber is now owned by Fiskers, or Fiskers owns Gerber, or one or the other. All right, let's get that moved out of the way. And let's check out the blade itself with the clip. So there's the locking mechanism, which is nice. And it looks like it does have a nice snug fit. Like pushing it in there is, I mean, that's nice. That's real nice. And honestly, it doesn't even look like there's a knife in there. You wouldn't even be like, oh yeah, there's a knife in there. You know what I mean? And then wah, wah there's a knife. Let's see how it is with some bills. Let's bust out some, some dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? We got a, a nice stack here. Let's pull out a couple bills. We'll pull out... Some crispies here. We'll do that. We'll got four four hundred dollar bills. So I guess we'll fold these in in maybe thirds. We'll try a third fold. No, that's still way too. Probably have to do quarter fold, I guess. Probably quarter fold on these. Fresh crispies. There we go. Quarter fold looks like it's the ticket because it looks like it's going to be the right thickness for that. Yeah, look at that. That's almost perfect. Look at that. So it looks like quarter speed. So you're going to fold the bill in four. But let's see. Let's see how many we could actually. Let's see. Can we fold all, all three of these together? Let's try it. Let's try it. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, I guess. We just want to be able to see what kind of thickness we have where we're not stretching the metal out to the point where the bills will just fall out of the money clip. Because that, you know, that's counterintuitive to what this whole thing is, is to hold our money. So um, we'll just do it like that. It's kind of buffled, kind of buffled, which is good because that's how... I guess a crinkled bill would be like if it was frustled like that. It'd be kind of loose like that. So we'll see how that works. Let's see. We'll just start that in there and slide it right in. Hold it perfectly. Hold it perfectly. And that's nice and tight, honestly. I don't know. Any 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 tighter than that. Any tighter than that. Here, let's just do this. Let's pull out. Let's just pull out a stack of bills. Let's pull out a stack. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight bills. Eight bills fits good, not folded. Now let's fold these bills in half and see if 
essentially 16 bills will fit in there because that's basically what that is right eight and eight let's see what that does hold 16 bills and i didn't have to force that in at all it just took the money it took the money so that's pretty cool so i guess it will hold a large amount of cash if you have on there i guess it'll hold four bills and maybe four cards maybe that's what they meant on there let's see it says engra engravable clip holds four credit cards and four bills okay there we go so it holds so it does have a nice thickness to it so it looks like you could put probably a nice fat stack of cash <laughs> you probably stuff in a bunch of cash in there let's see how much we can get in there let's try that let's see if we can shove that in there How's that work out? It fits pretty good. So we'll just, that fits pretty good. Any more than that, I think we'll be stretching out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That was about 25 bills. We had 26 in there, but about 25 looks like it's about the sweet spot, I'd say, um, for all this uh, holdage here. So about 25 bills, but it says four cards. If you're not going to run cards, you're just straight running bills. Um, you know, you could you could hold a good amount of cash on this, which is nice. And then plus, you got a nice knife, which is awesome because you could sharpen this. It's not serrated. It's got a little dugout there for your hand to kind of grip it. So you can even use it for some maybe self-defense purposes. I don't know necessarily if everyone's going to get their fingers in there. And I don't know how you, you could use it different ways, I guess to get kind of firm support that's pretty that's i mean that's that's like a talon almost right there um yeah i don't really know i don't really know how else you could actually kind of grip it this would be like this but it could fold either way if it hits something that's pretty sturdy it could definitely fold either way and falter it seems like the uh the old uh what is it looks like that the old talon grip it's probably the most supportive because you got one finger through the hole, one braced on the side here, and then your thumb, and you're kind of slashing. I guess you could probably slash at some arteries if you're using this for self-defense. Um, me, I don't know if I'd start slashing at eyes and stuff because if you miss and something, you can make someone even more pissed. So you'd probably have to go for a, a game knockout with this type of a this type of a knife attached to a money clip. But other than that, I mean, I guess it could save your life. In the, uh, in the right scenario, it could save your life. Or you could just use it to open up packages or whatever you want, you know what I mean? It's uh, even got a nice little clip in the back here which holds it in when the ring isn't in there, holding the center in place. Now I got no jiggle on the knife, there's no movement on the knife, it holds it 100% in spot, which is nice, because you don't want, if, I mean, if it is something that you want to conceal, um, it's something you don't want you know people to hear rattling around if you're gonna move it around. Said it holds a fair amount of cash, whether they be folded in half or folded in quarters, to basically cover the entire back here. If you just want your bills to be in the clip like that, about 16 bills basically. So that's the uh, Gerber GDC money clip. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty good pickup. I'll, like I said, I'll be uh, using this and I'll probably follow up in my 2023 EDC video because I'll run this for a year. And see how it works out because this year i'm going to be releasing my 2022 edc video and i'll go over all the stuff that i went over in my 2021 video my loadout and um we'll check this out like i said the only reason i'm talking about it is because this is going to be part of my loadout so if you want to see how this works over time 2023 i'll do at the beginning of the year in january i'll do my edc loadout and we'll talk about me using this for a whole year and if i maybe change to something else or whatever we'll talk about it in that video so why don't you let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this gerber gdc money clip what was your thoughts on the knife aspect of it what was your thoughts on the fact that it um basically is a nice slimline money clip and not something that is specifically made sized for cards let me know all that down in the comments below because personally i wanted something that's just going to be for bills and not cards so uh, like I said, it's a money clip, not a card clip. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So be looking out for that. And I have a great rest of your day.